loud engines, big trucks, and redneck activities. If this is the kind of thing that you're into, well then today's video might be for you. Hi and welcome back to Hellbound Garage. Today we're going on an adventure and I'm going to do more of a vlog style video for this one. So it is currently really early in the morning and we're at the gas station uh, just to grab some morning breakfast and to top off the tank in my Toyota Tundra before heading to today's activities. So stick with me, hopefully you enjoy it. Let me know if this is the kind of thing you like. Alright, grab some breakfast, grab some drink, now it's off to the road. The trip itself is pretty boring, so we'll see how that all goes. Yes, the sun's super bright right now, but uh, maybe I'll take you along with a little bit of it, but overall it's a pretty straight line, and I'll fill you in on what we're doing in a little bit. About to hit county roads, so I figured I would go into what we're gonna be doing today. And what we're gonna be doing today is going to a place called Squires Mud Park or Squires Mud Park. I, I don't know if they actually call it a park or if they just call it a bog, uh, but there is rumors and hearsay that this may potentially be the last mud bog at this location, which kind of sucks because for a lot of people it's the closest thing to be able to go to um, to, to play with their mud toys. Um, there's another location that's roughly like an hour, hour and a half past where we're going today uh, called Taylorville. But for a lot of people, like myself, that is really far to drive, especially if you know you're going there to hang with friends and family, uh, and you don't necessarily have your own mud toy to play with. So it, it's one of those things where there's there's a lot of mixed emotions about it, and it's not really sure if it's actually closing or not, and it's also not sure the reasoning behind the potential close. So it's it's the last mud bog of the year, and it, for this location, and it might potentially be the last mud bog outright for this location. So, uh, compared to all the other events that I had planned that I didn't go to because that time was better spent in my garage getting my own things done, um, this one I, I really felt like I had to take the time out and go to and see, see what's all there. I do have a friend who just finished up his square body mud truck that he's been working on for a while. So we're gonna go look at that. Um, we're, we'll just see what we can find. And then I also have a family member relatively close to there that I wanna swing by and see what he's been working on in his garage, depending on the time frame works, depending on you know, if my ADHD gets the best of me and I just decide to screw it. But uh, yeah, that is where we're going. And uh, I really hope that it's fun and I really hope it doesn't close. But either way, we're gonna have a fun day, make the best of it. So we have made it. it. Took about two and a half hours. Now right now we are on the probably the worst part of Squire's Mud Bog. So let me turn you around here. 
so we'll see if the gates are open. And we'll see if my family's here or not. I'm not sure if they will be. Looks like the gates are open. gates are open so I'm gonna go pay real quick and we'll go see what's here
dude! All the way over here!
of stuck around because as the day progressed and it actually got hotter outside, more people decided to start doing mud things. So that's where all the video and stuff came from. It, uh, it, was, it was a fun time and I got to see some friends with some newly finished rigs out there wailing on their stuff and you know, enjoying what they had spent so much time building. Um, I guess last month they they definitely found some weak spots and they fixed them and they didn't have as didn't seem like they had a single issue with the truck this time. Um, after afterwards, I was supposed to go see a uh, family friend or family whatever you want however you want to call them, um, and I. I went and saw him, I was supposed to take some video of his 39, it's a 39 like bubble fender sedan, looks really cool, um, definitely is going to be a cool piece when it's finished, um, but essentially it looks like Dotson <laughs> right now, he's got about the same amount of parts, he just has to finish a few things and then he can get started working on it. But I completely forgot to take any video of that because I was more interested in seeing how he was doing. After that, I was supposed to go pick up some welding tanks from somebody in that area also because it's the kind of thing I do if I travel somewhere. I look at Marketplace to try and buy stuff um, for a deal. And just the guy backed out for a really weird reason. Not gonna go into it, but. That's kind of how Facebook Marketplace sellers are. I've dealt, I've dealt with three of them in the last day and a half. One of them, easy peasy, got it done, good to go. The other two, not so much. The one didn't get back to me for 12 to 14 hours, and I'd already made the deal with this other person, so I had to tell the one seller that I couldn't because I had already made the deal, and then they, the, the deal fell through. It, anyways, it's Marketplace issues. Uh, so that didn't happen, and then I ended up going to my family's farm. It's a, a chunk of land my grandparents bought um, and replanted from cornfields to trees, and it's grown up a lot since uh, its younger years. It's one of my favorite places to go. And I, uh, I got talking to family there, and time just flew by, so I, by the time I even got back to the super nice location, um, it, uh, it was dark and I couldn't take any video. So by the time I got home, it was like midnight or something like that. So that's why it's the next day. But anyways, that is my um, attempt at a vlog. Uh, if it's the kind of thing you like or if it's the thing I need to get better at, let me know uh, down in the comments. But yeah, thanks for watching. Till next time.